Hey, Bowtie Nation, Joseph Hogue here with the Let's Talk Money channel. And Nation, we could be about to enter a revolution in biotech medical advances that could take genomic stocks rocketing higher. To date, just 10 gene therapies have been approved, but 712 clinical trials are underway. If even a typical rate of approvals occur, that could mean over 170 gene editing therapies approved over the next few years. Gene editing therapies and cancer screening is a $400 billion addressable market, with just the oncology segment expected to increase 24 to $260 billion. In fact, one stock I'm going to highlight in this video is expected to post sales growth of over 35,000% over the next three years. Sales growth that could make it one of the fastest growing stocks in the market. That data is from the ARK Invest Big Ideas Report, a 112-page research report from Kathy Wood and the team over at ARK Funds on the 15 life-changing trends they're following. So over the next few months, I'm going to dig deep into those 15 disruptive trends, show you that research, help you analyze it, and then reveal the top stocks to buy in each one. I'll be putting these videos into a special playlist on the channel called ARK Invest Stocks to Buy. Make sure you join the community so you don't miss any of those videos because these are gonna be the stocks that you wanna be in over the next decade. Today though, I wanna focus on a segment that is probably one of the more neglected trends among investors just because it's so complicated. The market potential for gene editing, therapies, and multi-cancer screening is immense. But if you don't have a PhD in biochemistry, a lot of the research can just sound like a foreign language. In this video, I'm gonna break down the most important research in gene editing and the trend to multi-cancer screening. We'll look at the market potential for biotech advances in the space and how to find the best stocks to buy. Then I'll reveal what to watch for in biotech stocks and the five genomic stocks to buy ahead of this medical revolution. I'll show you the rest of the research in the ARK Invest report, but the biggest factor to remember here is just the speed at which this trend is accelerating. Because of advances in our artificial intelligence, we're sequencing genes at a much faster pace. Now that's enabling new gene editing and other genomic therapies and accelerating those approval rates. That's why ARC expects a baseline of 170 new commercialized therapies over the next decade, 17 times the number of currently approved in the market. In fact, this trend in genomic editing and research is so strong, ARC gave it three sections in its Big Ideas report studying sequencing, multi-cancer screening, and gene therapy. Now, obviously, the market for these kinds of advances is immense. It just the shift to that allogenic therapies from autologous sales and cancer treatment could unlock a $260 billion market. Now, that's 20 times the current market size from just $13 billion today. That increase is from applications that can be applied at earlier stages of a cancer, being able to apply them on solid tumors, which account for more than 80% of cancer patients versus liquid tumors, and from lower costs of testing that opens up a much larger market. Innovation here has pushed the cost of multi-cancer screening down 95% from 2015 to just $1,500 today, and is expected to fall another 80% to just 250 by 2025. And just that current $1,500 screening cost though, the purple line here, is still only reimbursable for those 60 and older. As those costs lower, you get the test down to where people much younger are being reimbursed and they're willing to pay. At a $1,000 test level, we could open multi-screening cancer to those as young as 40 years old. Nation, being able to test people at a younger age could potentially save more than 60,000 people a year in the US alone and means a massive increase in the market for these screening and therapies biotech stocks. Now I'm gonna show you how to find those stocks in the genomic research and the gene editing, but first, you know I've gotta send a special shout out to all you out there in the Bowtie Nation. Thank you for spending a part of your day to be here. If you're not part of that community yet, just click that little red subscribe button. It's free and you'll never miss an episode. We can start our search for genomic stocks here in StockCard, and one of the first places I usually look is this watch list ideas section for those group stocks and a lot of our ARK investing ideas. Here we've got lists of stocks in AI, space travel, and virtual reality, but I don't see any here for gene editing just yet. So we're gonna to go to our dashboard and do a search. The search bar is another great function here because I can start typing on a topic and not only is it gonna drop down with stocks, but also with stock groups in that topic. Here we see groups around gene editing, gene therapy, and genomic diagnostic stocks. I can click through here and it gives me 76 stocks to research in that gene editing theme. I'll leave a link to stock card in the video description below. Don't forget to click through and follow our 2021 Bowtie Nation portfolio up 32% already and beating the market by 25% this year. And as a special bonus, I've negotiated an exclusive discount for everyone here in the community. Use the promo code Bowtie Nation, that's lowercase and all one word, for an exclusive discount beyond the free trial. Now you've got your list of genomic stocks to research, but a lot of you are probably asking 
thinking, why not just invest in the ARK Genomic Revolution ETF, ticker ARKG instead? The fund targets companies expected to benefit from this trend in gene editing and the therapies. It's produced a 130% return over the last year, so why go through all the trouble of picking your own biotech socks? And the problem is, the fund isn't really a pure play on that gene editing theme. In fact, the largest holding here, Teladoc Health, is a health information tech company. Now, I own shares in Teladoc myself, but if I were looking for a pure play in genomic stocks, you've got to go with those individual stock picks. Just some last factors here to remember before we look at those five genomic stocks to watch in this theme. Remember, most of these are biotech names in that developmental stage company. They develop the therapies and the drugs, but then sell them off to their larger medical companies after approval. That means many of these companies are going to have low or no revenue, so they need a strong balance sheet with lots of cash to see them through those clinical trials. Now, looking through the balance sheet, I want to see a high cash balance and relatively low debt. Here, you also have to compare the pipelines across these companies. Now, that's the timeline for different therapies, drugs, and, and when the company expects those stages of testing to begin. For these companies, it's all about which can get approved for a blockbuster therapy fastest and collect those milestone payments from their drug company partners. First up here is Beam Therapeutics, ticker BEAM, a $4.2 billion gene editing stock with shares up 325% just over the last year. Beam is using a unique gene editing approach, causing a chemical reaction designed to create precise and predictable changes rewriting a single base in the genome, either directly changing it, modifying the gene, or activating it. And one of the reasons I like Beam here is because they're experimenting with three different delivery methods to see which one works best for different organs and, and which are the most effective really diversifying their research here to find that one blockbuster technique. The pipeline for its electroproration modality for sickle cell and leukemia is the closest to those clinical trials and, and carries the most potential revenue growth in that high margin oncology segment. Sales are expected to jump to $2.2 million this year from just 24,000 last year and to double to 4.3 million next year and double akin to 15 million by 2023. So we see here that kind of explosive revenue growth that we're looking for in these genomic stocks. Now, even on that growth though, the shares are still terrifically expensive, trading at 1,900 times on a price to sales basis. And even if we take that 2023 sales estimate of 15 million, that still puts the shares at 282 times revenue. Now, Beam does have a healthy balance sheet, though not quite as healthy as some of the other ones that we'll look at, with $300 million in balance sheet cash against about $107 million in debt. Now that still gives it plenty of flexibility though to see that research through to commercialization, but, but still shares are very expensive here and already quite a bit of debt. Next in our list of genomic stocks is Iovance Biotherapeutics, ticker IOVA, a $4.3 billion company focused on cancer treatment. And Iovance's strategy here is really interesting, creating T-cell-based immunotherapies for patients with solid tumors and blood cancers. Now what happens here, and I'm intimately aware of how this works because both my mom and stepfather died of cancer, but, but when your body detects those multiplying cancer cells, it releases special immune cells to destroy it. Now usually that's enough, but because can of cancerous cells are able to adapt so quickly to these, sometimes those special cells, those lymphocytes, just can't do the job. But what Iovance is doing is amplifying a patient's own special immune cells, making them more effective against that cancer, working with your own immune system to beat the cancer. Nation Oncology is a huge market with 1.8 million new cases a year and 606,000 cancer deaths annually. So this is where you see a lot of those biotechs targeting that massive and monetizable market. The company has a solid pipeline with two indications for melanoma and cervical cancer already in the pivotal stage of trial, so, so very near to approval. Revenue of 3.4 million dollars expected this year is forecast to jump almost 30 fold to 90 million in 2022, which again, just like we saw with Beam, still puts it at 1,270 times on that price to sales basis on this year's sales, but actually pretty cheap if it can reach anything close to that $90 million revenue estimate. The balance sheet here looks even better with $629 million in cash versus just $52 million in debt, so, so no trouble with that funding or the cash burn here. Invitae Corporation, ticker NVTA, is larger here at $7.4 billion in market cap and 154% return on the shares over the last year. Invitae is leading in that genetic testing and screening area of the market, focusing initially on the oncology segment, but, but really expanding it throughout genetic information testing to, to answer those questions about health in all age groups from pediatric to fertility and diagnostics. The company is estimating a $154 billion market opportunity across these four segments and is already one of the most advanced in our genomic stocks for revenue. Sales were $280 million last year, expected almost double to $463 million this year, 
and to hit 1.2 billion by 2024. Now that would also make it one of the least expensive on our list with a price of sales of just 16 times this year's expected sales. Now the balance sheet is a little shakier here than with the others uh, with just $360 million in cash against $330 million in debt. But I still don't think there's any financial trouble here with funding. With that kind of sales growth, the company is gonna have no problem getting the funding it needs. Shares of Twist Biosciences, ticker TWST, are up 330% over the last year, though it's 32% off its high reached in January. Twist has developed a new process for manufacturing synthetic DNA by writing it on a silicon chip, a process it says is on a level 10,000 times more scalable than competitor models. And with this technology, it can create synthetic genes, antibody libraries for drug discovery, and enable partnerships in biologics. The company is one of the largest holdings in the ARC Genomics ETF at 4.2% of the fund and $400 million invested in the shares. It's got a strong partnership-centered model with a stable of testing and different drugs and indications could really prove the concept over the next few years. Revenue is expected 30% higher this year to $120 million from $90 million just last year and $166 million in 2022. That means it's not quite as expensive as some of the others on the list at 52 times on a price to expect a 2021 sales basis but also not quite as inexpensive as some of the others either. The balance sheet here is exceptionally strong though, with $587 million in cash against just $34 million in debt, and the cash burn is slower here because of that partnership-focused development model. The largest company in our genomics list here at $8.6 billion, CRISPR Therapeutics, ticker CRSP, with 123% return on the shares over the last year. CRISPR is leading in that allergenic cell therapy that ARC Research points out is so much more cost-effective and scalable that it can reach those masses with screening. In fact, it's also one of ARC's biggest holdings with $224 million in the ARC Genomics Fund and another $609 million invested in the ARC Innovation ETF. The company is already in clinical studies for five indications and has a strong overall pipeline with partners Vertex and Bayer, as well as its wholly owned studies. Revenue growth for CRISPR is also one of the strongest on the list, expected to surge 13-fold this year to $9.5 million from just $719,000 last year and to a forecast of $253 million by 2023. Now that's revenue growth of 35,000% over that three year period. Of course, growth like that doesn't come cheap and shares are trading at a price of 908 times this year's expected sales, though just 34 times if it can meet that 2023 sales target. Click on the video to the right for the five FinTech digital wallet stocks to buy right now. Five stocks in my favorite disruptive trend. Don't forget to join the Let's Talk Money community by tapping that subscribe button and clicking the bell notification.